All right, so today we are making a, what I'm going to call a mini build. But I'm going to take this artistic rendition or model of a building and I'm going to try and replicate it in Planet Zoo. And of course, chaos ensues. I changed a few things, but let's get started. All right, let me give you guys a quick explanation of what I mean with mini builds. And no, I don't mean that I'm going to be start building miniatures. I really like my remaining brain cells. I don't want to go further into crazy town. I'm already a permanent resident there, I know, but I don't have to become the mayor of insane crazy town. No, I'm not going to be building any miniatures. I'm just going to build a small building or a small habitat, aka a mini build for me, because it's not like the parking lot or the entrance where it's like a really big build. It's just a small, relaxing build. And so for today's building, with the replication of that model, it was a very relaxing building. Although I did change five things when it came to the model, because it just would have worked better with these changes, or is working better with these changes in Planet Zoo. First one is, just take a close look at that model. Notice something, or miss something. Yes, there don't seem to be any windows in that model. Or at least there are windows, there are windows like the doors are, I think, just glass doors, like the door to the side and the front. And then there are two windows like completely attached to the door or on the sides of the door. And there's this row of windows basically in the nook of the roof or the cranny of the roof. I don't know how you call it, but there seems to be a row of windows completely covering that side where the roof angles up. I like that, but there seems to be no other windows besides those. And this might be very well because I'm blind and I missed it. Like, there's a very high chance that I'm just a mole in disguise and I'm just completely blind and missed the windows. But I just thought, all right, if I only have windows far above me and maybe at the doors, it's probably going to start feeling very claustrophobic very soon because you just have just walls everywhere on eye level. So I added some windows on eye level, added a nice feature when it came to the siding of this first building. And then the second thing that I changed is look again at that model. Notice something or at least don't see something. Yes, I can't see the back of the building. And I actually went to the website of the company who seemed to have made this model. And I found a 3D rendition of the building. However, it was from the same angle. And the only changes that I seemed to be with that 3D rendition is that they removed the stairs in front. So what I thought was like a wheelchair ramp seemed to, in the 3D rendition, be the main entrance. Because, as I said, they removed the stairs in that 3D rendition. But when it comes to the back of the building, I'm just building something that I would think is realistic and functional. However, I have no idea what the back of this model actually looks like. So that's a bit of a change, but it's not really a change because I have no idea what the actual model in the back looks like. But then the other three changes that I made were, first of all, the second building... I didn't add the same siding as the first building has or the main building has just because that would just make the second building boring and now because the main building has this like interesting siding and then the second building or the well yeah second building doesn't have it it makes the second building more interesting and also makes the first building stand out more although in the model it seems that both buildings I think have this same kind of siding but I kind of changed it up just because it looked a bit more interesting although deciding if it's on the second building it's it seems to be less prominent at least from the angle that i'm looking at when it comes to the model while well, the angle that you guys are also looking at but anyways that's the second or the third change that i made the fourth change is um, easy to spot <laughs> because i added a grass or a green roof to the building which the model clearly doesn't have but it just like it was a completely flat angled roof it just made perfect sense to add a green roof because it looks pretty and that's why i changed it it just looks pretty with a, it's a green roof with some shrubbery on top and such really just driving home that just green vibe that naturalis is going to have and then the last change is uh, yeah i changed the plants because the plants in the model are all the same 
I changed it up just because that, again, would be more interesting to me at least. And it needs to kind of fit in, of course, with Naturalis. So those are the five changes. But then there's an another change that isn't really connected to the building itself. But someone in the comments actually pointed out in the last video that Naturalis is not an original name, which I already felt like, yeah, th there needs to be, there is something that's named Naturalis. Like it's not a very originalist or original sounding name. And then someone pointed out to me like, Naturalis is also a museum, actually not too far away from you. So yeah, if the project name of this zoo changes at any point, it's because the museum that's called Naturalis has sent Hitman after me to just silence me and stop me from using the name. Probably not, but maybe I will also just change the name just to prevent any conflict there. Because, um, anyways, so that's just to say, like, if the project name changes, it's just because there's actually a real life place that's called Naturalis. There's a real life museum called Naturalis, which you probably want to avoid with projects to name them after or well, not after because um, I didn't know of that museum. Like, here is the story of the name of Naturalis. I think, and this might just be that, like, my brain later on tried to figure out where it comes from because Naturalis as a name has been kind of stuck in my brain for a long time. So I might have lost the original connection or the connection to where I originally found the name or made up the name. I don't know. But I just, whenever I think of Naturalis, I think of Curalis. And. It's not named after him or anything, it's just I think I saw his, the name somewhere and then it just morphed into Naturalis after a while in my brain. My brain is sometimes a little bit uh, strange when it comes to that. It will like find a word that I just saw somewhere and it will just keep that in there and then we'll find like, oh, I need to have a new name for, the pro for a project. You know, you could just change this name or sound that you have in your head and you have no idea where it came from anymore because you found or made up this name three months ago. But yeah, but fun times. It's just like, oh wait, Naturalis is also a zoo. Yeah, anyways, back to the actual building. So when it came to the building, as I said, there's five changes that I made there might be some minor changes because of course it's a wood model so it's only one color so when it came to the color of the building i was basically completely free because yes i could have made it the exact same color as the wood of the building or the model but then everything would have needed to be that color so didn't do that it was just i don't know where i actually found the reference or the model because i was just probably scrolling to pinterest mindlessly i tend to do that and then i think this reference or the model i found it like a month ago and then it resurfaced again and then i actually pinned it because i also tend to do this where i go to pinterest and i'm like oh that's an interesting picture or a reference i might want to use it later and then i just because i'm mindlessly scrolling i scroll further and then the picture just vanishes into the chaotic nether or i don't know into the void so yeah i have no idea really where it came from but i'm very happy that i found it because it just it's such an interesting building to have that ramp have that siding the roof is pretty basic, the rest of the building is, to me, pretty basic, but that's siding. That's what's kind of stuck out to me, like, usually when I'm thinking of siding, I think like, oh yeah, it's just angled, try to be kind of as flat as possible. Here the siding was just like, I am extra, and I'm just going to stick out. When it came to just this building, it was just really fun, really relaxing to build. Because usually when I build stuff, I will take a reference and will take like sort of aspects of that reference, aspects of another reference, aspects of a third reference. And then I will like sort of make up my own building. But by replicating this building, I kind of just 
sort of turned my brain off because it was just like, oh yeah, this looks like this, this looks like this, this looks like this. I was just completely being able to turn my mind off and just replicate stuff and not have to think of like, oh, I want to change this, I want to change this. It's more just like, I'm going to build this. There you go. And of course, yes, as I said, I made some changes, but they, in the like big scope of things, they are pretty small changes, like adding windows, that's like not a big change for me. Adding the grass roof or the green roof, it's like, yeah, it's already building on something that's completely there. And then, yeah, the removal of the siding of the second building actually is easier, of course, because I have to build less. <laughs> but this entire building is just, was so relaxing to build. And it was also built in two hours. Like, I thought like, oh yeah, this is going to take like maybe three, four hours. No, in two hours, this building was done. And I'm not joking. I am looking now at like the length of all of the, what do you call it? Like all of the fragments that are making up this video, like all of the recordings. And yes, adding it up, I don't think it's longer than two hours. When it comes to just this building, it was built so quickly in a way like it was so relaxing like usually my builds like it just takes a lot of brain energy i would say to build something because i as i said i will change a lot of things when it came to the garden of the last video it was like all right what do i want here like i don't want to do this but this looks good but it's not like perfect this yeah but no it doesn't work with the bus station because like a main thing when it came to the garden was i don't want people running through the garden to get to that bus so i was like all right how do we make the path thing in the garden so that it's not as like straightforward that you can just run through the garden to get to your bus so that garden was really the most like brain energy trainer of the whole build like the bus station fast parking lot i mean i already said it it's just you build one parking uh, space and you duplicate it all around and then fancy it up a bit that's garden and yes the garden is not really wheelchair friendly because yeah as kane already said everything is curved small parts or at least not really wide parts so might not be wheelchair friendly it's wheelchair accessible which is like bare minimum i would say but not really wheelchair friendly although i do have to say that it's probably also not a garden that you really stay in it's like it's basically a instagram garden as i would call it where you just go into the garden you take a few pictures and then you leave and then you like move on to some place else. Like it's an Instagram or selfie garden where you just take pictures. Hopefully not trample all the flowers. Like I know a place in real life that has like special flowers or like endangered flowers. And people are just constantly taking pictures there. Crushing all of the flowers and such. And there's actually like there was like a media outcry of like stop taking pictures in well not really that garden it was just a field of flowers but they were endangered flowers so i don't think that's the case with the garden that i built because it's a built garden so most likely the plants that they have there are not endangered in any sort of way but i still didn't want people running through that garden but anyways that's going to be it for this video so i'm very happy with how relaxed this build was and Let's move on to the end results, shall we?